morning dear students yesterday we have learnt a story lesson number 3.6 the merchant of venice okay so i will explain you in short the merchant of venice written by william shakespeare it is a comic play the story of play revolves around antonio the rich merchant of venice his best friend Bassanio who wanted to marry Portia the beautiful and intelligent daughter of a very wealthy man but had no money to reach Belmont where Portia lived Sherlock the Jewish money lender who wanted a pound of Antonio's flesh in exchange of the money he lent to Bassanio in the court Portia dis disguises as a man and fights Antonio's sketch which ends on a happy note. So in this lesson I have given you introduction, glossary, hard words and true or false. Okay, so today we are going to learn about extract. So your extract is from Antonio was a merchant who lived in Venice, a prosperous city of Italy, till you will mark nobleman but unfortunately he had no money so from this extract you will write down all the questions read the extract and answer the answer questions carefully write three sentences about antonio so what you are going to write about antonio antonio was a rich merchant of venice see here prosperous city in italy he sent his ships to the far away countries bringing back spices and other treasure thus making a lot of profit he was a kind man with money friends Bassanio was his best friend for whom he was ready even to stake his life okay now question number two you can see here question number two when were sea voyages dangerous sea voyages were dangerous about 500 years ago now question number three you can see here what was Antonio waiting for why Antonio was waiting for his ships to return with merchandise he was waiting for he was waiting for ships because he had put almost all his money in the ships okay so this is the answer of third question now we'll move to the fourth question change into negative sentence antonio was a kind man so antonio was not an unkind man when we make listen over here please everybody was make make mistake at the time of paper when you have to change into negative sentence so you have to use the opposite word kind opposite word is unkind and when you are using the opposite word you will use not in the sentence so what will be your sentence sentence antonio was not an unkind man or antonio was not a cruel man so this is your right question now give the antonyms of dangerous Harmless or safe, kind, unkind. Now you have to write down question number six. What are the qualities you would like in your best friend? So I have ticked it from a friend is one who is kind and good natured. He or she must be ap approachable so that I can tell him or her my problems without being judgmental about me. I must feel free to confess confide all my happy as well as sad moments with him or her so write the answer till here now write now this is your homework what you will do you will write down few lines about each character from the lesson which are the characters Antonio Bassanio Portia okay and the last one last one character was Sherlock okay so you will write down all about by yourself now this is the last do as directed 
in do as directed what you will write question number one Bassanio was a young and a handsome nobleman so in this you have to you can see the word young is underlined okay so you have to identify the underlined word class so what is that word young is an adjective now he had no money add a question tag so same sentence you will write he had no money comma had hadn't he question mark they made a lot of profit you have to identify the sentence so they they made a lot of profit shows the declaration so it is a declarative sentence assertive sentence okay now question number 4 antonio was waiting for his ships so in this what you have to do pick out the verb and state it sentence the tense and pick out the auxiliary verb auxiliary means helping verb from the sentence so first one was waiting was waiting means it's a past continuous tense was is a helping verb of past tense okay waiting means a continuous tense so it is past continuous tense auxiliary verb is was so we have finished with our lesson write down all the question answer if you feel any doubt related to the writing work you can call me or you can message me have a nice day dear students allah hafiz